Project Integra. I'm playing. What is up again, YouTube? PPA for you out here. And there's something I want to talk to you guys about. So, my brother swear his car clean. That's a Civic right there. He swear he low, but... I forgot what I want to talk about. Why are these lightings always making me look red? And it's about that car over there. Not, not, not the Altima. The 300ZX. Yeah, so I actually recorded footage of me buying the car and who I bought it from and whatnot. But my phone, my old phone actually broke and I got a new phone. Yeah, so with that being said, I lost the old footage. But now I'm just going to talk about the car. So, let's get to it. And let the cool car edit with the music start now. So, as you guys may know by the title, I bought the car with 84,000 miles. Is that not insane? And it's, it's in pretty good condition, honestly. One of the things that happened though was the driver's side door actually ended up, the keyhole won't unlock anymore. I gotta do it from the passenger side. So the interior is not 100%, but it is 100% there. But as you can see, the seats are kind of eaten up, which I don't mind at all. And the dash has a little crack right there, but that's about it. The steering wheel is a little messed up, and the seats are faded. But other than that, like the carpet and stuff, it's like all immaculate. I bought a Broadway mirror, you know what I'm saying? Get rid of the blind spots, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but other than that, this is a, honestly a great car. Ugh. So as you see, it has 84,000 miles on it. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so I actually had less miles than that. I actually had, I think, around 84,500, but I've just been putting a little mileage on it because I've been driving it and stuff. I haven't really done anything to the car. I mean, I put on this window visor banner, whatever, with the Zosiety sticker right there. Got this little Broadway mirror, and that's about it, really. That's really all I've really done to the car. And I do got future plans for it. I plan on getting like a short shifter. As you can see, the shifter is like a little loose, but it's just in the every gear and whatnot. Everything on this car works, which is great. I haven't really had any flaws with it. I just took it to the DMV to get the paperwork done and everything was 100%. So yeah, so basically, I've been liking this car a lot. For those of you that don't know, before this, I had a Nissan 240SX. Didn't pass smog, wasn't registered, all that stuff. Like, just taking a step uh, upgrade from that car is just A1. You know what I'm saying, son? I bought it in SJ at this place known as Wills and Dills. It was this guy who had his car for sale. And I was just looking at it, and I test drove it. And yeah, and it was overall a good car. One of the things that did actually happen to me, though, let me show you guys right now. As I pop the hood. Well, yeah, the previous owner did tell me that the car sat for a little bit, but he gave me literally all of the paperwork that he did maintenance to the car on. So, such as the belt, the fluids, when he's taking it to pass smog and whatnot, and all that good stuff. So, basically, everything. <laughs> So basically everything is there inside of the car and it's just overall great car. But something did end up happening to me when I was at school. So I'll show you guys that right now. So coming over here to the master cylinder, as you can see the line is different than the stock rated, the stock steel line, which is right here. As you can see, it's more flimsy. I bought this from Concept Z online. So what had happened was my master cylinder was leaking and my line broke right there. So basically after doing a lot of research and whatnot, 
I kept finding on forums that you could do this with 240s, but nobody really done it with a 300 ZX. So what I had to do was I just took the line off. I didn't really cut this line yet. I just put it to the side and I just zip tied this line, fed it through the back of the engine bay and ran it from the clutch master to the clutch slave cylinder. So coming onto this side, as you can see the line's still right here and I just zip tied it to the existing brake lines and I fed it down here all the way down make sure it didn't touch the exhaust pipe or the exhaust manifold and whatnot and I got it to the slave cylinder let's go bleed the system get the air bubbles out and yeah so that was the only real major issue that I had with the car was when I had to replace that because that took me a little while because I didn't have the necessary tools and whatnot I actually did record footage on that and I was thinking about uploading it but we'll see about that other than that, I haven't really had problems with the car at all. It's been treating me great. Yeah, overall, I'm happy with this buy. Uh, this is probably the best buy I've ever made towards a car. My first car, I had an E36. My second car, I had an S13 240SX. I have previous videos of it. Uh, that car didn't pass smog. Both of those cars didn't pass smog, all that stuff. And yeah, this is just overall the best buy and I'm glad I did it. It pulls harder than both of those cars. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. If you guys have any questions, I'm thinking about uploading the braided clutch line video because I haven't really seen it on YouTube yet, but yeah, we'll see how that goes and everything. So any questions, comments, anything, you'll probably be seeing more of the car and more videos because it's 2018. So yeah, uh, PPA video out. See you guys in another video. Peace.